when Maya kings and Maya queens, or courtiers, or in fact any member of society, let blood, they were essentially recreating the myth of creation. The Maya believed that humans were made out of corn and out of the blood of the gods. And so to give blood back was a way of showing thankfulness, of course, for creation. And while Maya queens let blood from their tongues, Maya kings pierced the foreskins of their penises in order to appease the gods. But by far the most precious offering they could give was human life. Captives had to be sacrificed after a successful warfare um, event in order to appease the gods. Basically, their favor had been sought prior to the war, and so this was a way of essentially thanking them for blessing the victorious city with the victory. The Maya fought in a very ritualized way. Kings led their nobles and warriors into battle, sometimes timing the conflict to the appearance of the planet Venus, their symbol of war. These so-called Star Wars usually resulted in the capture of enemy nobles, but only rarely led to the complete destruction of cities. Losing kingdoms were obliged to pay tribute. The prisoners were tortured, their fingernails pulled out, and then the most sacred ceremonies of human sacrifice began.